When you're going to make a turn, it's a good idea to start planning for the turn nice and early. Move into the correct lane a while before you need to turn. Use your indicators to let others on the road know what you're planning to do. You must signal for long enough to warn others that you are about to change lanes or direction. If you are pulling out into traffic from a parked or stationary position, you must signal for at least five seconds before you enter the traffic safely. When you're turning right, you must approach the intersection nice and close to the centre of the road while making sure you're still to the left of the centre. When you turn, you turn just to the right of the centre of the intersection, like this. If you're going to make a left turn, you have to approach the intersection as close to the left side of the road as possible, but make sure you give way to bicycles if you are crossing into a bicycle lane. If there is a slip lane, you must use the slip lane to turn left. Sometimes, when there is more than one lane, there are arrows painted on the road showing you which turns you may make from the lane. If the road markings show that you may turn from more than one lane, you should stay in the same lane when you turn from one road into the other. Don't change lanes in the middle of your turn. Some big vehicles, like trucks, or others showing a do not overtake turning vehicle sign, like this one, may use more than one lane to turn. You should not overtake these vehicles when they are turning. When you're in the city, there are some intersections where you have to do a hook turn to turn right. These turns can seem a bit strange, but here's how they work. When you want to turn right at an intersection displaying this sign, you must start your turn in the left lane. You should move forward, making sure you don't drive on any foot crossing, but waiting out of the way of traffic going straight ahead. Wait in this position until the traffic lights on the road you are entering have changed to green. Then you may turn right and continue straight ahead. Now that we understand hook turns, let's have a look at U-turns. These are where you turn your car all the way around so that you can travel in the opposite direction. When you are going to make a U-turn, make sure you have a clear view of traffic in both directions. Use your indicators to signal what you are planning to do, give way to all vehicles and pedestrians, and then safely complete your U-turn without disrupting other traffic. You are not allowed to do a U-turn over double continuous lines or a single continuous line or when there is a no U-turn sign. If you are making a U-turn when there is no median strip in the middle of the road, it's best to start from the left side of the road. If there is a median strip, you must start your U-turn from the right lane. Now, if you're going to turn from a one-way road into a normal two-way road, you should start your turn from the side of the road closest to the direction you are turning. So, if you're going to turn left, start on the left side of the one-way road. Or, if you're turning right, start from the right side. If you're turning into a one-way road, you should turn into the lane nearest to you. There are some special rules for making turns at a roundabout. We've already looked at the give way rules for roundabouts, but let's take a look at turning. You need to decide which way you want to go, turn left or right or go straight ahead. Make sure you're in the correct lane as you approach the roundabout. If there are arrows painted on the road, you must drive in the direction of the arrows. For turning left, approach the roundabout in the left lane and stay in that lane. Signal that you are turning left as you approach and keep your indicators signalling until you have left the roundabout. If you're going straight ahead, you can approach the roundabout in the left or right lane. Make sure you stay in the same lane as you go through the roundabout. Don't signal as you enter the roundabout, but you may signal left as you exit. To turn right, you must always approach the roundabout in the right lane. Drive close to the centre of the roundabout 
and stay in the right lane as you leave. Signal that you are turning right as you approach the roundabout. Then, just before the exit you want to turn into, you can signal left to show that you are about to leave the roundabout. There is one more turn you'll learn once you start driving. It is called a three-point turn. When you want to turn around on a road that is not wide enough for you to make a U-turn, you need to do a three-point turn. As with all turns, you need to make sure you signal. Start on the left side of the road, look in both directions to make sure there is no traffic coming. Drive across the road to the opposite curb Check both directions again for traffic and then reverse. Look again and then you can drive off.